Good morning. It is Wednesday and I am stuck in traffic at the moment. And so I wanted to kind of just go over some things that uh, is going to happen this weekend. Uh, we, uh, we have a young lady that uh, has been coming to our home fellowship and she got saved. Praise the Lord. All the angels in heaven are rejoicing over one soul that's saved. And one of the things that uh, we're going to get to baptize her this Sunday. And one of the things that was on my heart is bat what baptism is and what also what discipleship is. Because when a person gets baptized should be the start of their, their journey. When they get baptized, um, that is the outward sign. She's already was she was already saved when she gave her life and surrendered her life to Jesus. Baptism is just an obedience to what Jesus asked of us. But that's a it's going to be a public proclamation of what happened in her heart. And um, baptism does not save us. Uh, ba baptizing somebody in Jesus' name doesn't save you. Um, can you baptize somebody in Jesus' name? You can. Uh, Jesus tells us from his own mouth to baptize us in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And uh, that's how I baptize, because that's what Jesus says. Um, but one of the things about baptism, is it starts, that is the pub public uh, proclamation of your ministry. You are now following Jesus, and you are starting your discipleship. You should. Uh, sadly, in most churches today, when someone gets baptized, they, uh, you know, they, they, they might get plugged into a Sunday school class or something like that. But Sunday school classes, and I'm going to make a lot of people mad at this, but that's okay. I don't care. Um, Sunday school classes and things that happen on Sundays is not discipleship. Um, I'm sorry to say, discipleship is what happens throughout your week, and 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 this is really a big statement here. Uh, Sunday versus discipleship. Discipleship is way more important than Sunday morning meetings. Uh, Sunday morning meetings are are a bonus. It's a time that we can reflect and encourage one another and 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 praise Jesus together. But what counts is, are we making disciples? Are we sharing the gospel? Are we praying for people in our everyday life? Is what happens on Sunday moves you throughout your week to, to serve Jesus and, and make disciples or be disciple? There's only two things that should be happening. Either one, you're discipling somebody or you're being discipled by somebody. And our time in the Word should be um, every day. We should be reading our Bibles. We should be praying. We should be um, uh, sharing our faith to the best of our ability. We should be serving Jesus with the gifts that He has given us. And we all got gifts. So baptism is the start. Yes, it's a program. It is a proclamation of what you did. You gave your life to Jesus. You have died. You, when Jesus died on the cross, you died with him. And when he rose again three days later, you rose with him. It's, it's, a, it is a, it's a public statement of saying, I now belong to Jesus. I am now following the Messiah. Also, it is saying, it doesn't cleanse your sin. It does, what, that water is not magical. It's just a, it's a symbolic statement of what happened to you on the inside. But should you be baptized? Absolutely, because Jesus asked, or not asked, he commanded us to do that. He commanded us to take the Lord's Supper and to be baptized. And so we should do both of those things. And so, but the baptism itself does not save you. The water being dunked, it is a it is a time to reflect, and it's a great time to share the gospel to a, to an outward group of people that see that that is watching you being baptized. Your life, your that that whole act is a statement of baptism of the gospel. The baptism is this is screaming the gospel, and so, but discipleship, going to Bible studies. Um, I love Bible studies. I have Bible studies. I, I, I love teaching Bible studies. 
But going to Bible studies is not discipleship either. Discipleship is way more than just Bible studies or Sunday school. Um, discipleship is training someone to walk in their walk and then they go train and when they're ready it's an apprenticeship and they and when they're ready it's a it's studying the word of God and applying it to your life and showing people how to do that that's discipleship it's it's getting someone in your life and showing them that and but see it takes two it takes two to have discipleship. You got to have someone that's willing to, to take what they're learning and apply it to their life. If they're not willing to take what they're learning and apply it to their life, you're wasting your time because that person is not ready to be discipled. And they, and if that person is not ready to be discipled, that person needs to really look at their salvation. They need to look at if they've given their life to Jesus because the discipleship actually not points it out. It doesn't point to just knowledge. It's a transformation of sanctification in your life. And you should have that desire. You should never want to be your old man. You should never want to be the person you were before baptism. That person died. That person no longer exists. You're not that same person from years back or however how long whenever however how old you are the the young lady that's got is getting baptized she's young so who she who she was all the way up to the point when she gave her life to Jesus she's not that person anymore she is going to grow in her faith to be and she's a new creation that's what the word of god says a new creation and for us to be a new creation that means we don't we don't desire, and and everybody moves in their own pace, but there's a reality to the pace. There's a reality to the pace. Yeah, it, it's it's not going to take years, 10, 20 years, and a, if a person never changes in that time frame, we got to go back to the beginning and see if that person is saved, because salvation is a new you are born again born again you're not the same person that person has died so when we see someone get baptized it's the start of their new life and that's what we need to do we need to look at it we need to preach that we need to say we are not ashamed of the gospel and the biggest part of our life is making disciples and baptizing people because that's what Jesus literally told us to do. He told us to go out and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And so he didn't say go build churches. He didn't say, you know, uh, go to Bible studies. He didn't say, you know, all those things are good to some degree. But, he, but if you're not making disciples... And you're, you know, and you're not, we're not seeing people being, but I was so upset that I didn't know if I was going to see anybody get baptized this year. I really want to see, if, um, you know, somebody get baptized this year. And, but see, the thing is, is that we're never supposed to just hold on to this. It is something that we've been given a gift that we can give back out. It's a gift that we can give back out. So, to, to just just to attend church on Sunday, to go to Bible studies and and all these things. And if you're not giving it out to others, if you're not making disciples, I'm not making disciples is not inviting anyone to church. That's not making disciples. Making disciples is making time to be in someone's life. We are supposed to share our faith. Is that inviting people over to your home? hospitality, sharing your faith with them, sharing Jesus with them, offering yourself up to them so you can say, look, I'm, I'm willing to disciple you. Are you willing to be discipled? And, and people are saying yes. If, if someone says it doesn't say yes, then you can't make them. But the idea is that you're offering your life up as a living sacrifice. That's what that means. Not going to church, not you know, going to Bible studies or Sunday school, but offering your life up as a living sacrifice. Something to think about. 
Baptism does not save you. The act is a outward sign of um, is an outward sign of what happens in your heart when you give your life to Jesus. So keep that in mind. That's all I have. God bless you. We're excited about the baptism Sunday, um, and we're excited about um, her growing in her faith. So please keep her. Please keep her in your prayers. Her name is Bailey. God bless you. Go share Jesus with someone.